Hi everyone. Welcome back to Sun Arts. If you're new, welcome to the family. Today's videos are all about refreshing lemons. So let's move on to DIY number one. For this, I'm going to take one of this wooden sign that I got from Dollar Tree from the bead section decor. And uh, I actually am going to use this because it's a perfect size for my calendar print that I'm going to use. And I just took out the handles and I'm going to reuse it after it's all done. And this is the calendar I was talking about. And I'm going to take this summertime uh, lemon uh, you know, print and I'm going to attach that on this wooden sign. And I'm just taking exact uh, cut out of it. And I'm taking a little bit of this um, glue stick. And I'm just rubbing all over it. Including the border, center, everywhere. And after I just generously applied it. I'm just placing my calendar printout on top of it. And I'm just pressing it against the board to just release any air bubbles. Now I also got this straw just got like green and white stripes so i'm just taking a one straw and i'm just attaching it as a border for the sign and i'm going to take another straw and i'm going to measure exactly the rest of the you know border and i'm going to match the stripe to look like it's a continuous stripe and then i'm going to measure exactly with my nail and then i'm going to cut that and attach that and once i'm done with that i just did for the others also and this is the finishing part like you see i'm also going to match those uh, stripes exactly so it looks like a continuous design and i'm so happy how this turned out so far and i also got this uh, lemon printed uh, ribbon and i attached a bow on the top on top of it i also attached one more uh, polka dotted uh, ribbon bow and yellow bow on top and i also got this placemat which has lemons everywhere i just took you know a couple of lemons i just cut that out and i'm attaching it around where those lemon print is already there and i think the sign is done so it looks pretty to me so i'm going to stop it here and i'm going to you know attach the handles now so i'm going to take those handles that i removed and using dab of a hot glue I'm just attaching one end and I'm also going to attach the other end just like so. So this is the final reveal of my sweet summertime lemon design sign and I'm so happy how this turned out. I hope you would also like it so let me know your thoughts on this. This video would be part of Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy and this is hosted by Brenda over Mourner's Market and I'm going to leave the link of her channel in the, my description box as well as the playlist of all the amazing creative ladies and you're going to love all the creative ideas for this summer. So let's move on to DIY number 2. For this DIY, I'm going to use some of these cutouts that I got from Dollar Tree from the summer supply section and they have got like lemons and limes and pineapple and I think strawberries, I think watermelon is also there. I'm going to use some of these lemon cutouts and also they have this paper plates which is also in the shape of lemon and I'm going to use these two together to create a DIY here. So I'm going to take one of this plate, I think they come six in a pack and I'm also going to use this half lemon sign on top of it and I want to create a sign out of it so what I'm trying to do here is cut the border which has got blue in color I don't want that border so I'm just cut, trimming off the border all around it and also I'm going to take uh, you know the excess from the uh, lemon plate just like so so it exactly fits on top of this lemon sign So I inverted the paper plate and I took this lemon cut out and I'm taking dab of a hot glue, actually generous amount of hot glue and I'm just you know, you know spreading it onto the plate and pressing this paper cut out on top of it so they just you know stick together and this is the perfect size for each other and I'm taking these stickers uh, from Dollar Tree again and I took letters which spells fresh so I'm just going to attach in an angle 
like uh, in the shape of a lemon and I'm also going to mod podge it on top of it to give like nice security and I also got a jingo block and I attached that in the bag just to stand on its own it also needed one more bead on the top to you know stand it on its own I thought it also needed a rope to connect between the plate and also the paper cutout so I just took this rope it's also from Dollar Tree and I'm attaching it with the hot glue all around the half circle just like so. So this is how it looks after the rope is attached. Now I have to take some greenery and taking two leaves of greenery and I also want to attach one yellow rose in the center and yellow was not showing up really bright so I just took one white flower and I attached uh, in the center of the leaves and I also attached one yellow rose on top to finish the look. So this is how it looks after everything is done and I'm so happy how this turned out. Look at that beautiful greenery and the florals and you have to let me know what you think as well. On to DIY number three. For this DIY, I'm also going to take one of the other cutout, which is like a complete whole lemon. And I'm also going to do the same thing, trim the excess uh, blue color around the border. And I'm also going to use one of this uh, garland that I used. I'm using dab of a hot glue. I'm going to attach one side of the garland. So this would be like a lemon garland. And I'm also going to take some of the stickers, which says spell sweet. And this will be like a sweet lemon sign and i'm going to show how this looks after all the stickers are stuck and i'm also going to mod parch it on top of it to give like nice security and this is a couple of ribbons together i just created a messy bow and i'm going to attach that onto the starting point of the lemon and the garland just like so and this is how it looks after all the decorations are done and i'm so happy how this lemon garland turned out so tell me your thoughts on this on to diy number four for this i'm going to use one of this uh, lemon sign that i got from dollar tree it is so gorgeous and it's so high-end looking already it doesn't need any decoration but i just want to you know embellish it a little bit with this rope i'm just taking this thick rope and this also from dollar tree and using hot glue i'm just sticking all around the border of the frame just like so and this is how it looks after it is stuck and i'm also taking one of this and i'm also taking one of this yellow ribbon which has like white florals on it and i created a couple of bows one is the burla bow on top of it i decorated with this yellow floral bow and a yellow rose on top and i also took two of this greenery and i'm just inserting around the bow just like so and this calls it done and i'm so happy how this whole lemon sign which says enjoy life with lemons and that sign has a nice distressed look in the background and with this rope and the florals and greenery and bow I'm just loving the whole farmhouse look of it so you have to let me know what you think as well on to diy number five for this i'm going to use another sign which says home sweet home and it's also from dollar tree it's got like lemons all around and i'm also going to decorate the border with this green ribbon but later i went with the black one which has white wavy uh, designs on it and I took uh, a straight piece and I just measured how much the one side is and, I, and I'm going to measure and uh, do four pieces and attach all around the frame now I'm taking a little bit of a hot glue in one corner and I'm going to draw a straight line of a hot glue and I'm going to attach this ribbon to one side of the frame just like so when I reach the one end of it and I just using my detailing scissor, I just cut that end just like so and I'm going to measure now the length from this side and I'm going to finish attaching all the ribbon all around the frame just like so. Now I have this lemon printed thick flat satin ribbon and it's got like nice lemons and greenery and it's going exactly uh, with the design on the frame so i'm just taking a little bit of a baker's twine which has got yellow and white uh, uh, stripes on it so it is also going well with it so i just you know twined it and attached the bow in one corner where those two ribbons meet 
and if you want to correct any mistakes that would be a great idea to do so and i also took some greenery and one yellow rose to finish the look and this is how it looks this is such a simple and sweet home decor sign for your summer and i'm so happy how that ribbon exactly fits in between the frame and yeah this is one of it and i'm so happy about it you have to let me know what your thoughts are On to DIY number six, the last DIY, and this is one of the paper plate, and this is one of the cute trinket tray, and it is exactly you know matching with this tray. So, and also I got this beautiful ribbon, which is all going together. So I thought I should also incorporate this in this DIYs. So I just took a straight line of a ribbon, and I just attached it with hot glue, just like so. And after that, I was thinking about attaching the trinket tray in the center of this paper plate. And uh, I also took like two pieces of this uh, same ribbon and I wanted to attach just like that on either side. And this is how it looks after it's everything attached. And I also attached some greenery and some florals and a bow on the top to finish the look. And this is one of the sign. And I just wanted to add it because I got all the supplies that are matching. So yeah, this is one of it. And um, yeah, you have to let me know what you think. So these are some of my summer themed easy peasy lemon squeezy DIYs. I'm so happy how all these turned out. And you have to let me know which one is your favorite and you want to give any suggestions towards my channel. I would appreciate that. And if you like something like this, I hope you would consider subscribing, liking and sharing. And don't forget to hit on the bell icon for me to get notified when I upload videos like this. And if you're already subscribed, I really appreciate and I'm very grateful for your subscription and being part of the family and giving the support and love uh, from time to time. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. I hope you enjoyed watching and working along with me today. So until next time, if you want to watch some of my videos, I'm going to tag one in the right corner of the screen as usual. And like I always say, thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you again.